Hello, welcome to episode 394. We made a little damage testing dummy. There he is. Isn't he cute? Um, now, I do a little bit of testing myself in this, uh, and I thought that if I used spectral arrows, I was doing more damage. But it turned out I was just lucky at the time. So I get 9, 6. If I switch to normal arrows, I can still get 9s. Tens. Oh, I got very excited later on in the video when I thought that spectral arrows did more damage. Turns out they don't. They seem to do exactly the same. Anyway, that's a little mistake I made. So, as you can see, you can check damage with a bow, you can check damage with a sword. 8 and 12. With an axe, we've got 6 and 15. With a trident, we've got 8. Or we've got the mace. 6, 4, 9. Or, I mean, mate, I, I discovered this. I didn't know you could do this. This is insane. 64 damage. <laughs> Poor little guy. Anyway, that's what we're making. We're in version 1.21. I think you can do this in quite a few earlier versions as well. And I got a lot of these commands from Gal Serki because he had helped someone out about a year ago. And while I was looking around, finding different ways to do this, I found his post. So I yoinked the commands and just changed them. Very, very, very slightly. I think all I'm doing is resetting the health. And I changed the names of the objectives. So all credits to Gal Sergi, not to me. Anyway. Oh, look at that. Hello. Anyway, enough waffling. Let's get on and build it now. Okay, let's set up a couple of scoreboards. I'm going to have a health, a previous health. And that'll do, actually. And then I'll use the previous health one to store the damage as well. So let's do setup, and we will have scoreboard, objectives, add health. I'm going to make it a dummy because I'll set it myself. Okay, now control middle mouse, get another one of those, chain always active, and P R E P I -E previous health. There we go. Done, and make sure we activate them. Now let's summon our little damage dummy. I'm going to use a slime. Let's summon a slime. Um, I'll do negative x by two. He's going to have some tags. He's going to have one tag. Show your damage. And we'll make him size one. I don't want him going away, so no AI. True. I'll set his health to 1000. That should be a capsule H, I believe, for health there. Now, if I set his health, I'll have to set his max health as well. Attributes, list of attributes, one attribute. ID. Um, oh, what's it called? Generic. Generic dot max health. Which we will give a base value of 1000 to. I'll set his death loop table to empty. It's a bit pointless with slime because when they die... Even if he doesn't drop a slime ball, he'll still spawn other slimes, and they'll drop slime balls. So, death loop table's pretty useless here. And I give him a rotation. So, if we are going to, um, we are going to be killing him and slapping him. Well, we're not going to kill him, but if we are slapping him, at least we have to look him in the face. That'll do. There we go. Okay. Now let's make a little get rid of you command. We could do kill, but then, as I said, he's going to drop little slimes. We do not want that. So we're just going to teleport him into the void. Execute as any entity type equals slime tag equals show damage run tp yourself same x y and z let's change the y minus two one one two done bang off he goes into the void and he's back cool now let's make a controller controller are done. Bump. And make it repeating. Okay, we will execute as any entity whose type equals slime, whose tag equals show damage, and we will get his health. So we'll store result from an entity from yourself. Um, actually, we don't want that. We want to store the result as a score 
on yourself into your health score and it will run data get from an entity get it from yourself get your health okay so his health is now in a scoreboard <clears throat> let's copy that selector at the beginning copy let's get ourselves one of those green command blocks so xus type slime tag equals show damage this time we're going to check the score as well scores equals open and close previous health equals zero or higher then we will run scoreboard players operation at s your previous health is going to equal your previous health minus your health let's copy that beginning bit again including the score copy Execute as any entity type equals slime, tag equals show damage, scores previous health equals one or higher. Then we will run tell raw. Um, let's just do at p because we're only testing and playing around. At p, we'll have two entries one, two. The first one is just going to be text, text, and we'll just say damage. The second one is going to be a score, so that's say score, open and close. The score will need a name and it will need an objective. Score, name, well we're executing it as the slime, so that is going to be the name at S. And the objective will be its previous health. Previous health. Okay. Are done and now let's paste in that beginning bit but this time I don't need to check a score Whoop. execute as type slime tag show damage we better set its health to its current health run scoreboard um, players operation at s your previous health equals your health oh, oh, oh i see your little spelling mistake okay done now that will probably work as it is turn that on punch him we did one damage if we do a big flying punch we can do two damage cool so that works um he's eventually going to die though because i am doing damage to him let's check his health scoreboard Objectives, set display to the sidebar, health. See, we're doing damage. He will die eventually. Uh, but that system works as it is. We could just do a little patch on this system. At the end, let's just uh, execute as all entities whose type equals slime, tag equals show damage. And we will run data merge into an entity yourself and we'll just merge his health okay if you want him to never die we could just put that on the end well there we go and now we can go and punch him again let's take that off the side so we don't need to see it we know that's working one two okay that works let's get ourselves a sword so we can do <laughs> sorry slime this is, let's get a trident as well why not and a mace I don't know, I've never used a mace. It's the first time I've ever hit anything with a mace. Now, the advantage of this system is instead of using just sort of damage dealt, damage dealt, I believe, only checks melee. So this system, we can check anything that deals damage. So let's try the trident. Eight. Ooh, okay. What about this mace? Six. What about nine? Okay, can we, can't you fall quite far with one of these things? Oh my god, 32. Okay. What about even higher? 47. How high does this go? This is insane. 61. Oh my god. Okay, I can see why people want those things then. Or a sword. And let's just check that it does work with the arrow. I mean, we're checking his health, so it shouldn't matter how he loses health. Anyway, it should work. Bow. Let's have a bow. Let's have um, 
an arrow. We can do a test. Does a spectral arrow do more damage? Pull it right back. Seven? Well, that doesn't seem very good, does it? Six? Oh, it's a bit iffy. Okay. Six. Let's get rid of that and let's try spectral arrow. Oh, spectral arrow does, does do more. Now that's something I never knew. Okay, well, in that case, it might be worth, in my let's plays, getting myself a load of spectral arrows because they do more damage. Oh, I've discovered something for myself. Cool. Okay, um, let's chuck poison on top of him. Let's see what that does. Can we poison with a splash poison? Splash poison, splash potion of poison. Too long. We don't want to wait that long. Let's just get this little one here. Last for 21 seconds. Does this, does this work? Oh, it does. Look at that one. One, one. Okay. Seems that you can lift. Oh, I'm so sorry. Look at this little face. I'm so sorry. You can stop now. That's enough. Let's just turn that off. There we go. Oh, look at his little face. He's going to live forever anyway. I kind of feel a bit mean, though. He's going to live forever in perpetual torment. You're free now. I've set you free. Okay, there we go. We have a little slime that we can use to do some testing on. And I've discovered something for myself. Mace hits incredibly hard. I think I'm going to have to get myself one of them. And I should start using spectral arrows because they seem to do about two or three points more damage. Definitely worth it. Cool. Anyway, have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.